Okay, so this is going to be a review of the MakeBlock 2.4G wireless serial for MBOT V1. comes in this little package right here. And inside this package, there is a 2.4G wireless serial USB plug. plugs directly into a, to a PC. It's fairly small. It's very light. And also in the bag, we have a module, which is the 2.4G serial module on the back here. I'm not sure if you can see that, but it says 2.4G wireless serial. Okay, now that differs from the Bluetooth. This is the Bluetooth module. Okay, there you have them side by side. So this is the 2.4G ser uh, serial, and this is the Bluetooth. So on the back of the Bluetooth, you can see it says Bluetooth module. So it's this port right here. All right. so what I'm going to do is install that. So line up the pins, and that fits, fits on the Megapi just like that. So it goes into the same location as the Bluetooth module. So, uh, just as a side note, this uh, 2.4G wireless serial uh, USB stick is not currently uh, available in, uh, some, some, in some markets. Uh, it's available in China. It's not necessarily available in the United States, but I assume it will be because it works quite well and the interactivity with your PC and the robot is quite good. <clears throat> I'm using the Ultimate 2.0 uh, MakeBlock robot for this. and. Uh, uh, you'll see in a minute the way in which that connectivity works. <clears throat> so uh, installation uh, requires a firmware update. If you haven't updated your firmware recently, then I would highly recommend that you <clears throat> do that from the start. Uh, I'll leave it. I'll put this slide up so that you can go through the steps. It's fairly fairly simple. Uh, you start the MBlock software, and then you you connect with the USB cable that comes with your with your robot. Connect that and you do a, a firmware update. And once that's done, you disconnect the the USB cable and you're good to go. Okay, so next step is pairing. Uh, pairing is fairly easy, but you have to follow the steps in the right order, otherwise it won't pair correctly. All right, so first thing you want to do is you want to open up the uh, mBlock software. And I have that open right here. Okay, so mBlock software is, is open and running. All right, next thing you want to do is you want to turn on the robot. Okay, so let's go over to the robot. And we are ready to start it up. So I'm going to power up. Okay, important thing to note is the blue LED here is flashing. It's a fairly quick flash. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to push this white button right here. It's a very small button. This is the pairing button. I'm going to hit this button and then I'm going to put, plug this into the computer. Okay, so here we go. So it's waiting for pairing. We got a rapid blue LED flash. Okay, now back to the computer. And I plug this in to a USB port. Okay, Windows found it. Now back over to the robot and you can see that the light there is a steady blue. So this means it's paired. Okay, so that's the procedure for pairing it. Okay, there's one other procedure that you need to do for uh, en enabling communication and that is to go to the mBlock software and you need to say connect 2.4G serial connect. Okay, so I have connectivity now between the 2.4G wireless controller by the USB port, and that is connected to my robot, and now what I want to do is write a little program. So the program that I've put in here is uh, when clicked, when you click the flag, and the flag is right up here, when you click the flag, then it's going to uh, set the encoder motor to in, on port 2, to, uh, a to rotate a thousand degrees and the speed is going to be 
uh, 160. And then it's going to wait a second and then it's going to reverse that. So I'm just going to do a minus 1000 degrees. So 1000 degrees sounds like a lot, but 360 would be a full rotation and that's actually 360 rotation of the cog that's rotating the wheel. So the wheels are actually not going to rotate much at all, as you'll see. Okay, so I click the flag here and you'll hear the robot start. Okay, and we see that the robot is just moving backwards and forwards. And now I'm going to click the, the stop button, and it stops. So here again, up here is the flag for the start. You can hear the robot running, and stop. Okay, so that's our little test program. Okay, this is just an update. Uh, I did a search on Amazon to see whether or not this was available, and it does look like the 2.4G wireless uh, serial controller is available. It says it's for MBOT. Uh, I can confirm that it is usable on the Ultimate 2.0 robot because that is what I'm using. And on. the important note here is that there is no signal interference when using many MBOTs uh, simultaneously.